besties welcome back to another vlog on my channel y'all i am editing this video you're watching now and i just realized i actually ow i'm getting pains y'all and i don't know if these are like labor pains or i don't know what it is but my under i'm so dark so i'm covering them but I just started getting them the past like three minutes. But like I said, I accidentally deleted the footage before this video. Like the some of the footage of this video accidentally got deleted. But I still have a lot left. But basically in today's video, y'all, I have to pre-register for the hospital. Okay? I have to sign up for the hospital so that when I come in, it's no confusion about what's my name, what's my insurance. They already going to have my information ready. Hopefully it registering makes it all easy. And then I also am going to, what is it? Pre-register for the hospital. Oh, and I need to find a pediatrician for my baby because I heard that like, if you don't have a pediatrician, then for some reason they won't let you leave the hospital. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but I need to find a pediatrician for sure. But I know that is going to take some time to find one that I feel like kind of aligns with my beliefs. I don't know if that's possible anything is possible but we're just gonna have to look for some time but yeah i'm registering for the hospital today i am 33 weeks in the video today i'm 34 weeks literally this was yesterday so if you get what i'm trying to say y'all we are almost at the finish line and i just still cannot believe it i'm so grateful i am so happy that we are almost meeting our baby girl soon we are both so excited like me and her dad that's all we talk about is her arrival and like how we're gonna be when she comes and like how she may be when she comes so yeah i'm just getting stuff ready in this video what is this <sighs> so yeah kendall do not delete the footage again but i hope you guys are enjoying your break I have still been at home. I'm a teacher, so I've been at home just relaxing, um, getting stuff together around the house, but literally not doing much at all, which it can be a little boring, but it gives me a lot of time to create create content and get out my videos because your girl needs to hustle, okay? I got a baby on the way, and my baby girl, I don't know when she's coming. I got six weeks or less, okay? Six weeks or less. When did you guys go into labor? Please let me know in the comments. Don't try, don't scare me. Well, I can't get scared, but just let me know when y'all went into labor. But we're gonna go ahead and get into this video. You're gonna see me get in the kitchen together and then we have a little date and then we'll sign up for the hospital. dress right over here y'all the elevator has not been working 
at my apartment and I'm like, I don't know who I need to call, but I need to call somebody because I am 34 weeks pregnant and I'm not about to be off on the flights of steps, which I have because I don't have a choice, but it is not easy. Because I just cleaned. Huh? Because I just cleaned. No, it's an organic spray that disinfects. I'm gonna put all this back under. I'm gonna do this in a separate video, packing my hospital bag, because I'm gonna order that stuff on Amazon and just have everything at one time instead of doing it tonight. soap press done not soap press well yeah i'll probably get the soap press done around my birthday and then a few weeks after that i'll get braids because i want to have some braids already in for when the baby comes and i have to touch my hair but as of right now i'm gonna rock it out with the ponytails i should be getting it done soon i told y'all y'all these steps are no joke the elevator does not work this should be illegal. I am too pregnant for this. But then again, I need this exercise, so. I think maybe tomorrow I'm gonna go to the gym. I've been saying this for like weeks. I'm gonna go to the gym and like work out a little bit. Like, yeah. Like maybe walk on the treadmill or like, do some stretches, something, but I feel like I need to get active because I've just been sitting, sitting around doing really nothing. But all right, I'll see you guys when we get to the restaurants. Bye. I don't eat too many restaurants, but I have You like their bread? I don't That steak definitely ate. <laughs> Your baby girl is full. Oh, where do we park? We did not park. Stop putting the We're not parking. We're gonna go home and watch Baddies. It's a Baddies Eve type of night. We forgot that it was an episode because it was like Christmas Eve and stuff like that going on. Hopefully they don't have no mishaps like my oldest no baddies because it was Christmas. I hope they wouldn't do that. Like power did. Look at my Zuna back there in the back seat. That Zuna look too good in here. My Zuna boo. Mom push ultimate two. Ultimate five. Y'all those steps almost took me out. Oh. No, going up those steps, y'all, I'm still out of breath. Some, somebody really needs to get that fixed because same when I do have baby girl and I have her shoulder or even I'm just carrying her, like going up so many steps, that's just not okay. 
I'm gonna be calling somebody tomorrow. That's all right. So, can y'all come and see me? All right, so I'm now looking about how to register for the hospital. Y'all, I'm still tired from going through steps, but it is good exercise for me. But baby girl, I can't do that every time I'm going in and out the apartment. Like it's just not fun. All right, so where would this be at? Patients and visitors. thing I need to do is make a birth plan we have our hospital tour set up I already told y'all that but another thing I wanted to tell y'all because I really love that y'all comment back on my videos and actually are like because sometimes I'll be talking in my videos and I'll be like are they actually like gonna get to this point in the video are they actually gonna like be listening to this point in the video or just it just goes goes past as you're watching it but I love getting feedback from the things that I'm talking about on my channel like Last video, I was talking about how, like, I wanted to go, how I, my goal is to go natural and how I don't want to go in it with a weak mindset, just saying, oh, I'm just going to get medicine because it's painful. Like, that's not, that's not what I'm going for. Um, but my mindset when it comes to it is, I heard some ladies say, I was watch, I've been watching, like, positive birth stories. And one thing about it, your mind is a huge part of, going through something like labor and delivery like I heard a lot of people say labor and delivery is mainly just not just mindset because I know it's pain also but it's mainly your mindset and how you're able to deal with it so um you cannot be fearful and be faithful at the same time and how I've always like replied to people when they ask me like But yeah, how I've always replied to people when they ask me, and they're like, oh, are you scared? Or, oh, are you nervous? I'll say, no, I'm not. I'm actually excited. Or, no, I'm not scared. No, I'm not nervous. Because honestly, I don't know what to expect, but I've educated myself for years about labor and delivery. Like, I've watched so many experiences. I've been learning so much. And it's just to say that I have faith in God. I have faith that this process, this journey, my labor and delivery is going to be beautiful. It's going to be what it needs to be. And in the end, I know I will have my baby girl. So it's just like, I got to do what I got to do. So it's nothing to be fearful about. Um, because I'm going to be praying to God the entire time to protect me, to protect my baby, to protect our family. So I'm going in there with that faithful mindset and I'm standing on it. Okay. Stand on it. That's the best way to go go for it. go towards something that you're doing for the first time don't start something with fear okay because that's when bad decisions come in that's when regrets come in that's when all these other factors and letting other people take control come in i don't want that i want to have some type of control over my experience and the first step is making sure i have a positive mindset which i have so yeah how do I sign up for this? Oh, pre-admission registration form. Prior to proceeding with the pre-admission process, please review and accept the privacy practices. All right. Okay, this is easy. I can sign up online. Thankfully, it's not something that I need to sign up on paper and like bring in. So I'm gonna sign up now. Oh my gosh, this is getting lit. 